That's for sure. And before you head out this weekend for some power shopping, I met up with financial expert Janai Thornton to study up on some ways to save. Take a look. We're in the middle of this back to school frenzy right now. The shelves are stocked and sales are underway, but a little homework before you hit the store Colored pencils is in order. The key thing for back to school supplies is you must download and print your teacher's list first. You definitely want to search your house. We all have those junk drawers. Our children's rooms are full of stuff right now. So do that comprehensive search. That way you can actually save some money. Another way to save, make social media work for you. You want to download your favorite retailers apps and you want to follow them on social media. You definitely want to use sites like Retail Me Not and Groupon. The discounts that they're offering on back to school supplies right now, you'll be able to save tons of money and keep that money in your pocket. Tweaking your strategy just a tad when it comes to clothing. Of course you want to set your budget. There may be one or two items that you're willing to splurge on. Make sure before you head out to the store everyone's on the same page about those splurge items. You'll notice as you go to the retailers they're going to have a lot of fall items out already. That means this is a perfect time for you to pick up some of those summer items on sale right now. And as far as those fall items, you may want to wait till September, October to actually pick those up when they go on sale. Speaking of sales, some stores even have special savings programs. If a local competitor offers a lower advertised price on an eligible item that you actually purchase in the store, Walmart will give you the difference on an e-gift card. With $83 billion expected to be spent this back-to-school season, every bit of savings helps.